This is John Bollinger with Premier Guitar. Today we're looking at the Fano Omnis GF6 Humbucker in Bowl Black. Uh, bowl B U L L Black. Uh, before I get into it, take a second and push the magic red button down below and subscribe. Okay, thanks. Now you won't miss any of this guitar nerdery we're putting out here. So, uh, Here's what I dig about this guitar. It is reminiscent of the Fender Starcaster. Starcaster was Fender's response to the Gibson 335, and they built it from 76 to 82. Uh, never really caught on. In fact, I remember seeing them, and I just didn't get it. Um, it looked like, you know, kind of a cheap 335 to me. However, they really took off, and they now have this huge cult following. Uh, they're, they're their own thing. I think the appeal is for a person that's into a 335, wants to get into the hollow or semi-hollow body world, but they like that Fender neck, it's the perfect match. And that's what they did here, only I think they did it, I think Fano did it way better than the Starcaster. And here's why. Start with the body. It is solid alder. Um, there's, like a 335, it's got a center block, but the F-holes are open. So, cool design. It's also got this kind of George Jetson aesthetic, looks kind of, you know, like Fender does. They kind of stretch things out and make them like 50s futuristic, or in this case, 76 futuristic. Uh, the... The neck is a bolt-on, which, you know, for fendery people is very cool. The tuners, as you can see, are, you know, fenderish. Uh, on top of that, uh, maple neck. Uh, the neck shape is like an early 60s uh, C shape. Compound radius, though, I like that. I like the fact that it goes from 9.5 to 12. I think that's it. I, um, I, I like the way it works. Scale length is 25.5, so for you fendery types, it's right in that sweet spot. Fretboard or the fingerboard is Paul Ferro on the strap on the Starcaster. That would have been a maple fingerboard, but I like this again more 335-ish, and I love 335s. Love love Gibsons, Gibson 335s. Uh, let's see, 22 frets, um, medium medium jumble nickel nickel silver. Uh, string nut is 1.65 composite. Uh, Tunematic style bridge. I like that. Just solid. Uh, these pickups are a proprietary fanner design, and I like them. Uh, controls are simple, master volume, master tone, and a three-way switch. Uh, having it up here in kind of Les Paul land, which I like a lot. Um, and it's made in China and done really well. So enough of my yakking, let me bring you through some of these tones. I think these pickups are very reminiscent of PAFs. I think they kind of have that vibe to them. There's a chiminess to it, you know? They're just kind of... Um, put a little dirt on that. Then just get filthy. I like it. Uh, also, you know, as a side note, this 
this arch top is, I just like the feel of it. Very kind of, I don't know, just it's got kind of an ergonomic thing that I like. And I like the way, I like the way semi hollows feel when you play them. When you dig into them, you kind of get a little loud. They seem to really respond like that. I also like the bound fingerboard. I just think it looks cool. I love the old school Fendry uh, vintage tuners on the side. Anyway, let's uh, get into more of this. So uh, both pickups, well, let's go to the neck now. To me, that's a really great kind of jazzy thing, roll down that tone a bit. Roll it down a little bit. just really expressive and I think the whole, the whole guitar just kind of makes sense I like I like having a master volume and master tone I mean I've, I've got a lot of guitars with with you know Les Pauls and 335s that have a four and, and honestly to this day I sometimes get confused there's just no messing this up love that love the shape love the tones uh, and I think a thousand bucks is is affordable for for what this gives you so those are the basics uh, to read the full written review, go to premierguitar.com. While you're online, make sure you like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, our Instagram, our, face, our, uh, our Twitter, poke around the old PG site, have the hard copy of this thing sent to your home. This is John Bolger. Till next time.